everybody. Hey, guys. hey we've got some really exciting news. But uh, by the way, aren't these face masks awesome? Pretty cool. Yeah, America. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so we just want to tell you that next week we will be having our first in person kids' church. <laughs> we are so excited to see you. But we, uh, we may be wearing these. Mm -hmm. And we just wanted to let you know that it's just to make sure everybody's safe. We want to make sure everybody is safe, feel safe. And so you may see our te your teachers with a mask on, and we want you to know it's okay. We're still here. Right? Like, no. <laughs> and, uh, and we're excited to see you. But, you know, this whole month, mm -hmm. you, you know what we've been talking about, right? Yeah. Unstuck. Unstuck. Yeah. Yeah. But we've never talked about the most popular sticky thing. You know what I'm talking about? I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. The thing. The thing. The, the duct tape. The, oh, the greatest invention of all time. Right. Yes. <laughs> it can fix anything. It is the ultimate sticky tool. Duct tape. Ta-da! <laughs> so, I was wondering, you know, what can you do? I guess the question would be, what can't you do with duct tape? But what are some things that you can do with duct tape? Like bookmarks? I think you can do more. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I found some really cool things. And let's have Amma okay. help us show the kids some of the things that you can do with duct tape. Okay. Now let's check out some of these cool things we can make using duct tape. Yeah. Okay. A hat? Whoa! Wow, <laughs> pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> All right. A cell phone case? Yay. Ooh, yeah. Check it out. Wow. It works too. Very stylish. Wow. <laughs> a wallet. Wallet. What? No way. Very cool. It works. It has yeah. spaces for, for your cards? things. Yes. Wow. Money. Very cool. Very yes. cool. Yes. These were made from scratch today. Mm -hmm. Okay. One last thing. Oh, yeah. You need to get on the stage. Yep. Slippers! <laughs> wow! An entire wow. outfit made out of duct tape and accessories. Wow! <laughs> Wallet. And my phone case. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Alma. Yeah, let's give it up for Miss Alma. <laughs> well, those were really cool. Yeah, amazing. And you know, they actually took a lot of time to make. Yeah, they did. We needed some determination. Yeah, yeah. Remember, determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. I agree. And that's what we've been talking about yeah. this whole month. You know, I was wondering something. Mm, I get nervous when you begin to wonder. <laughs> well, <no. laughs> well, you know how I hung upside down from, uh, you know, the stage that one time? Mm -hmm. Well, so we know the stage is strong enough okay. to hold me. Uh -huh. Well, I have a question. Mm. Do you think um, duct tape is strong enough to hold us no, up on the ground? No, no, no. I bet it is. No, I, no. Let's try it. Let's just, you know, determination, we started this thing. <sighs> Let's finish what we started, and we have a question. I guess. Okay, sure. Let's okay. Do it. Let's This is a big, this is actually a real test, guys. Yeah. We haven't tried this yet. <laughs> Let's see if it holds you. Okay. I'm scared. You can do it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. Try number two. We had determination. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you nervous? <laughs> you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <Yeah! laughs> yeah! oh yes! yes! Determination, guys! It actually feels good. 
Well, that was a lot of fun and it took a lot of determination. It took a lot of tries and all those things that we made took a lot of time, but I think it was worth it to finish what we started. And that, that reminds me, are you having fun? Yes, tons <laughs> and loads of, even though it's a bit scary. <laughs> so that makes me think of our question for today. And our question is actually, what questions do you have? This whole month we've been talking about determination and sometimes you have a question. Sometimes you need to find out the answer. And today's Bible story talks about someone that had some real questions. So let's let the so-and-so show guys tell us about that Bible story. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I can't. Ow! One, two, three. Hey, John. Oh! Oh! What's going on? Brandon, I these things off my fingers. Oh, you, you have to have fingers in both ends. Oh, well, I don't have any more fingers. I know someone who does. <sighs> I don't think this is how it works. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 do that. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. I'm John, and welcome to the So and So Show. Everyone's favorite show that takes you on a tour de force of laughs, <laughs> knowledge, and thought provoking questions yes. about life and God. Yes, siree. But before we get to any of that, I have got to get something to eat. I am famished. Did you not eat before the show? No. Why not? Well, I, I couldn't decide what I was hungry for. You got any ideas? Uh, I don't know. Sushi rolls? No, no. No, no never say that. Oh, why? Why is it, is it a raw sushi fish? Roll? No, that's not the raw fish. It's just, what is it wrapped in? Oh, it's, I think it's like a seaweed. No, 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 I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay, fine. You, uh, I think there's some egg salad back there in the fridge. What is salad? What Wait. is salad about egg salad? You ask for a salad and they come back with a giant bowl of egg mush. What's even in it? Well, it's all things that you like. There's egg. No, there's no. What? No, 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 no. I don't want to know. Next. All uh, right, fine. Uh, you want some cotton candy? <gasps> Why, Brandon? Why? It's not actual cotton. You wouldn't eat your shirt, right? You wouldn't eat your shirt. Mm -hmm. mm, that's so delicious. So good. I love cotton. Tastes like candy, said no one ever. Okay, yeah, but real cotton candy is delicious. I refuse to eat anything I don't understand. Okay, yeah, but every time I try to explain something to you, you say, I don't want to know. I don't sound like that. Yeah, look, how do you expect to understand if you won't listen to the answers to your questions? Fine. Fine. You can try to teach me about cotton candy, <laughs> but I'm not making any promises. Fair enough. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey, welcome to the show. Come on in, have yeah. a seat. Whoa, sorry. Here you go. Thanks for having me, John. You are welcome. This is, hey, hey, how did you know my name was John? I've watched the show before. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I really like y'all's old stuff. Yeah, me too. So, uh, who are you and what do you know? Oh, my name is Sugar tilt -a whirl and I sell cotton candy with the Thomason Traveling Carnival. Oh, so you're like a cotton candy expert. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and your actual name is, is Sugar? Who would make something like that up? I, uh, I... Can you tell us how cotton candy is made? I sure can. All right. How is cotton candy made? 
with a cotton candy maker. Fascinating. And uh, if you had a I've got one outside. Want me to bring it in? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Do you? He means yes. Well, then why didn't he just say yes? Uh, oh, he was just, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Hey, you with the hat, can you give me a hand? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure I can, and my name is John. I know. I watched the show, remember? Right, yeah. You wearing a hat? Yeah. Can you give me a hand? Sure. Several minutes later. All right, so how does this work? I don't know. You don't. No, but I thought you I thought you sold cotton candy at the Thomason Traveling Carnival. How does that work? What, my microphone? Yeah. I have no idea how it works, actually. I know you're not supposed to do that. Hey, uh, uh, how do you make the cotton candy? Oh, well, you pour the candy sugar into the head of the machine. It's basically just granulated sugar with food flavoring and coloring. This here is silly nilly. The machine heats it up to its melting point, which is about 190 degrees centigrade or 395 degrees Fahrenheit. This here is spinning at 500 RPMs. And with that level of centrifugal force, the liquefied sugar is expelled through small holes and it creates a fibrous material. And then you just roll it onto a paper cone. So that's how it works. I have no idea how it works. I thought we talked about that. Stop. Okay. Oh, well, that, that, that looks really good. <clears throat> yeah, it is. Did you, did you bring any? Any for you? No, I only brought one paper cone. Oh. But you can candy just about anything. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. That is good. Mm. Yeah, thanks, sugar. Yeah. Are you talking to me or the cotton candy? You. You're welcome. Mm. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have. We'll see you later, sugar. I mean, probably not. We're going to be in Skokie this time tomorrow. It's a traveling carnival, not a stay in one place carnival. Those are basically just really sad amusement parks. Well, safe travels. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay. Do we have a key? <sighs> no. Oh, it tastes way better than the shirt. Ah, it's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey, Kellen! How's it going, fellas? Oh, just having a little tasty treat. Nice. You got a story for us today? I do, um, but I can only find one so-and-so show player to help me tell it. Do you guys want to give me a hand? Yes, yes we, we do! do. Great. Today we're going to be using an oldie but a goodie, a flannel graph. This is how I learned Bible stories when I was a kid. Of course, our flannel graph, it's a little different. So, this guy right here is Philip. Philip was one of the earlier followers of Jesus. He's sometimes called Philip the Evangelist, 
because he traveled all over telling people the good news of Jesus. So Philip was walking around one day when an angel spoke to him. And I'm walking, and I'm walking, and I'm walking. <laughs> Philip! Huh? Whoa! Oh, what's up, angel? Go south to the desert road. Which one? Oh, you know the one that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. Oh, that one. Thanks, Angel. No problem. Bye. And I'm walking, and I'm walking. So Philip went where the angel commanded. And on the way, he met an official who worked for the queen of Ethiopia, traveling back from Jerusalem. And I'm walking, and I'm walking, and I'm walking, and I'm walking. Then Philip heard the Holy Spirit speaking to him. Huh. What's that? You want me to walk over to that chariot? Okay. And I'm walking to the, I'm here. He was led like a sheep to be killed. Just as lambs are silent while their wool is being cut off, he did not open his mouth. What does that mean? Hello! Do you understand what you're reading? How can I? It's talking about sheep and wool. I need to, someone to explain it to me. Can you? I think I can help you. All right. Well, come over here and sit beside me on my chariot. Beside you? Okay. A great uh, leap. Don't forget your glasses. Uh, Watch my horse. Whoa, horsies. Uh, uh, For no reason, I'm just going to squat down a little. All right. To, I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm almost great. there. I can, there you go. Just push you around. There you go. That is amazing. Uh, great uh, job. Easy peasy. The Ethiopian official was reading from what we call the book of Isaiah. Many years before, God had shown Isaiah a vision of the future, and he had written it down for all of God's people to read. Some of what he wrote was kind of hard to understand. That's why the official asked for help. Well, here we are on the back of this chariot. It's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Get up, Bessie. Well, do you have any questions for me? Is Isaiah the prophet talking about himself or someone else? Is he the sheep led to be killed? Well, actually, Isaiah is talking about someone else who will come much later. Someone who will die as a sacrifice for all of our sins. Tell me, have you heard of the man Jesus? No. Oh, well, let me tell you all about him. Philip told the Ethiopian the good news, that God had planned for hundreds of years to send Jesus to pay for the sins of the world and that anyone who believes in him can be saved. So when they came to a body of water, Whoa, look, here's some water. What can stop me from being baptized? Nothing, let's go to the water. <laughs> Horses away! So Philip baptized the man right then and there. All right, are you ready for this? Yes, let's do it. Okay, here we go. <gasps> and after they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away. Whoa! Where is the spirit taking me? Whoa! Whoa! Impressive. <laughs> Backstroke. Backstroke. The end. Guys, thanks for your help. That was fun. Yes, it was. You know what? I loved how the official wasn't afraid to ask when he didn't understand something. I know. We shouldn't let things we don't understand keep us from doing what needs to be done. So it's good to ask questions. Yeah, and it's good to make yourself available to answer questions others might have, like, like Philip did. Truth. Great story, Kellen. Thanks for letting us play. Later. Later. You know, 
I have questions sometimes about life and about God. Me too. And I don't know that all of those questions will be answered, but I think it's important to ask. I have a question right now. Oh, well then reveal the question. All right, what questions do you have? I have so many. Like, what's the difference between indigo and midnight blue? Why do they cuddle a litter of kittens and kitty litter and they're two completely different things? Uh, maybe you have some questions. Why is abbreviation such a long questions word? Questions about life or, or God or really anything. What weighs more, the Chrysler Building or the Great Pyramid of Cheops? Talk about it together. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? We'll see you next time on... And what is a woodchuck? The so-and-so show. And why does it get bothered that it has a nickname? Doesn't it want to be called Charles? What are you gonna candy first, John? First thing is a shoe. Wait, is that mine? Yes. Scissors. That doesn't work very well. It just didn't cut it. Order up. John's Keytar! What? No, 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 no! Oh, no! That was a great Bible story, guys. Um, the Ethiopian eunuch had questions, but God uh, sent Philip to come and answer those questions for him. So the question for the day is, what questions do you have? Sometimes you can't figure out an assignment, and you have to ask your teacher questions. Or you can't do something and you need to ask your mom or dad questions to help you figure it out. The same with God. He is willing and able to answer our questions. So let's not be afraid. What questions do you have about who God is, about the Bible? Ask God. He's willing to answer. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to worship God. Let's everybody get up out of our seats. Come on, guys. Let's get up. Let's worship God together. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God
That was great worship and stay standing. Miss Cece is about to help us with our memory verse. Hey guys, I'm going to bring you your Bible verse for this month. Uh, let me get unstuck from these branches real quick. Hold All on. right, now that I'm unstuck, um, we're going to go over this month's Bible verse. Just like always, I'm going to say it and with the motions and you will repeat after me and then we'll say it all together. All right, remember, you're repeating after me. Let us not become tired of doing good at the right time. We will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. All right, let's do it again together. Let us not become tired of doing good at the right time. We will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become tired of doing good at the right time. We will gather a crop if we don't give up. Galatians 6, 9. All right, guys, it was nice seeing you guys again. Hope you have a good month. Bye. Well, guys, we love you. We miss you. And we're really excited to see you next Sunday. But we're going to keep on doing these uh, videos for a little while, too. For those of you who are going to stay home, we just want to be with all of you, no matter how we do it. So do you mind praying for us? Yeah. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, again for another beautiful day and a beautiful lesson we pray that we will be determined to see our lord jesus and that you help us to share the good news with all our friends and family and keep us safe in jesus name amen amen love you guys bye Yeah. <laughs>